Thank you for bringing me up. <laughs> I wanted to kind of build on that and ask about what is the role of self-worthiness and how that affects everything that we may be experiencing. It affects everything because how you feel is your point of attraction and what comes to you can't get around how you feel. Even though you're asking, if you don't feel worthy, it's like you've got an umbrella up that's shielding it. So even though inspiration and ideas and all kinds of opportunities are flowing, you're kind of shielding yourself from them and not letting them in. But we want to explain worthiness to you in a way that you haven't thought of before. And in a way that is exactly the way that it is. And it's going to serve several purposes all at the same time. So just relax. This is going to make so much sense to you. So. We've been explaining to you that you were source energy before you came into this physical body, blah, 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 blah. You've heard it so many times and that a part of you has come into this body and you're sifting and sorting and coming to your own personal decisions and preferences and conclusions about things. And you're shooting these rockets of desires into this vibrational reality and law of attraction and your inner being are gathering all those cooperative components. And so your wonderful life is gestating and becoming and getting ripe and ready for you to receive it but at the same time that all of the things that you want relative to your life your finances your relationships everything at the same time that it's growing and getting ready for you you must be vibrationally growing and getting ready for it you can't be discouraged and be in the receptive mode of all of this wonderment that you have created so as you hear us and play more and are nicer to yourself and meditate more and get good sleep and treat yourself well and look for positive aspects and feel good more and more and more of the time so that you're commonly in what we are calling that receptive mode then ideas occur to you and your timing is really good and you find yourself often living in that sweet spot where something will occur to you and you will see quite readily the results of your being tuned in nothing gives you a greater sense of worthiness or well-being than to watch the universe knocking itself out to accommodate the things that you have asked for but if you don't know how the laws of the universe work so you're just sort of stumbling into happiness or stumbling into thought and you're not doing it purposefully then you often don't make the important association between the thoughts that you were thinking and the emotion that you were deliberately conjuring and the results of all of that but when you went to bed at night and you deliberately said I'm gonna sleep well and I'm gonna rest well and I love my sweet body and I'm thankful for this life experience and tomorrow when I wake up it's gonna be a whole new day with a fresh start and then you wake up and you breathe deeply and you feel glad for the day and then you deliberately look for positive aspects and you tune yourself to the frequency of who you really are and then you take it further by listening to one of the meditation CDs or deliberately doing something to tune yourself and then you pay attention to the way you feel and here's the newest piece that we've been giving you you know how when you're driving you have a sense of how to stay where you need to be you don't try to occupy the same space that another vehicle is occupying and when you feel the rumble strip under your right wheels you don't deliberately just drive off into the bar pit you align yourself back into your lane you do it intuitively and wisely and so now you've awakened you feel good and you're deliberately staying in your lane when a negative thought begins to come into your awareness you recognize the rumble strip and you get back in your lane you do it before the momentum of it takes you into a place that you don't want to be and so now you are so often tuned in tapped in turned on and you now are the witness of the universe yielding to you and because you're in the receptive mode you get the hint you feel the impulse you say the words and not only does it move you steadily toward the things you want it holds you constantly in a state of feeling your empowerment of knowing your value and that is our definition of worthiness it's feeling the entire universe cooperating with you it's not being in need and then the bad lifting up off of you that can't even happen it's you deliberately understanding the laws and understanding your guidance and staying in your lane and guiding yourself deliberately when you feel that rumble strip 
if you ignore it now all four wheels are on the other side of it and now two of the wheels are off in the grass and now the grass has you in the mud and now you're spinning and skidding and now you're off the bridge you're off the cliff and now you need a whole new body and it takes time <laughs> you see where if you're paying attention to the rumble strip which is the way we're describing negative emotion and when you feel it you don't condemn yourself you understand it you use it as a guidance that it is then oh you stay in that sweet spot and really that's our definition of worthiness is consciously and deliberately guiding thought in order to be a steady receiver of the well-being that source is showering down all around you and if you're not doing that there's not enough words in the world to make you feel worthy because words don't teach we can tell you all day every day that you are but unless you're letting yourself be the benefit of your connection to those resources you don't feel it enough for something more also I just want to say about a month ago when I was purchasing the tickets for this I said that I was going to be called up on stage in the right time for this discussion on worthiness and you just helped me make that connection of my power again so thank you really good